Bible stories. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today the Bible title is God's Good News. Be part of the story. We'll read. Mm, this is the last story, and this is reminding story like. We'll practice what we have learned from the Bible. In the beginning, God made everything. He made it perfect. He made us too. In His image, He loves us and wants to have a relationship with us. So, in the beginning, God made us in His image. And he wanted to have a relationship with us. <laughs> there were no sins. Suddenly, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That sin brought us into our into the world to break our relationship with God. It also break God's perfect world. So suddenly Adam and Eve disobeyed God. So the sun came and we the sun brought death and also break our relationship with God. God made the because they, he didn't want Adam and Eve to be like a robot. So God has given a, to choose, but they disobeyed God. It break God's relationship. Sin spread through the whole world. Everyone sinned, and the result of sin is death. But sin couldn't stop God from loving us. He had a plan. So, sin spread through the whole world, and everyone sinned. But the sin couldn't stop. God from loving us. He had a plan. <laughs> this is Adam and Eve sin brought our relationship with God to true. Because of his love for us, God sent his son Jesus into the world. Sin broke our relationship with God, but Jesus came to fix it. So because of his great love for us, he sent his son, baby Jesus, to fix our broken relationship with God. <laughs> Jesus healed sick people and performed many other miracles. He welcomed lonely people. He taught people about God's love. His perfect life shows what love looks like. So Jesus never sinned and healed the sick people and performed many miracles. Mm, Jesus the Son of God didn't sin.
question, does God ever stop loving us? No. God never stopped loving us. Even that Jesus never sinned. He died on the cross for our sins. Because he loved us. By doing his, he was hearing at God's plan to fix our relationship with him. Jesus died on the cross for us because to fix our relationship with God. Jesus never said that he died on a cross for us. Later, Jesus rose from death, breaking the power of sin and death. He spent time with his followers, disciples, teaching them. Then he returned to heaven. Now Jesus is lo Jesus lives forever. So, three days later, Jesus rose from the death, breaking. Power of this. <laughs> Only the Son of God can do it. Question God love so much that he sent his only son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. True. Jesus didn't leave us alone. He sent his Holy Spirit to live inside everyone who trusts him. The Holy Spirit gave us power to live the way God created us to live. <laughs> <laughs> On the day when Jesus returns, God will make everything perfect again. He will make a new heaven and the new earth. Everyone who trusts in Jesus will live with him forever. God love us, He created you of a kind, trusting and following Jesus fixes our broken relationship with God. Are you ready to be the part of the story? God's story? <laughs> One day, everyone who trusts in Jesus will live with him in a number one tent, number two village, number three the heaven. Number three was the correct answer. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time? I'll read another good story. This is an This is the last story for the kiss spiral. We can do the activity. <laughs> story mix up. Let's see. Mm, number one, God created this. And there's this. And God had a plan. 
Jesus, son of God, spawned. He took many miracles. He didn't sin, but he died on the cross for us. And he raised from death. He didn't let us alone. He sent his Holy Spirit to us. We believe in Jesus will live in heaven forever with no pain and death. And Jesus loves us very much. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!